Welcome back to first tutorial of Liz map in the JS Ford Academy. In this short video, I'm gonna tell you how to install Liz map in a couple of minutes using the Docker and your Ubuntu machine. If you are excited, let's get this started. If you wanna follow this tutorial, we need some requirements or we need some tools. The first one is the Git. So maybe we can check which I have already installed or not. Yes, there is a Git. The second one is a Docker. And the third one is Docker. You don't really need Docker Compose, but I will run everything with the Docker Compose. So please check if you have already installed such a thing. So if you are using the Ubuntu machines, I'm pretty sure so you have you have all of them and also and then you but please check if you don't have please install it if they are the super easy just they are a simple comment then the next part is i should open maybe for yes i have also opened it here right now maybe we can do it once more so we should check the lease map website so here is our lease map website so this is a root of the installation path. So I'm using the Ubuntu machine. So first of all, we will check it with this one. Also, it is possible with the Windows, but I really recommend you if you are a GIS or a special software developer. So please immigrate as soon as possible to Ubuntu. Okay, but anyway, uh, we will also talk about the Windows later. So here, installing the Windows map, the fastest and the and the quickest way is using a Docker, Docker and Docker Compose. Also, all these things are okay, but I really recommend you don't install a lot of things on your server and also on your local machines. So the things that you don't know, but Docker brings you this opportunity to have everything on a container without any installation on your PC. So you will use a Docker, the best and the fastest way. So I will just clone it. So I, I, I have all of the keys, SSH keys. So I will use SSH. If you don't have them, just use the HTTPS. So they don't have a big difference. Then I will back here and then I will remove it. Maybe I will create a new directory uh, called so part one so definitely you don't need it so because i want to push everything to the git this is a reason that i want to sec making the different sections for different tutorials then git clone so i don't want it to do it here in this folder so maybe we can create a uh, exactly this map docker compose file so when we are creating docker containers we have exactly the same uh, starting the name will be the starting of the folder name then llcd this map so here it's it is our file okay uh, one of my recommendation is if you are installing the Docker like me and you need to run the Docker with the sudo, so it is not a good idea to do it like this. So sudo config file config. So it is not a good because you are installing everything on the root by the root. So here, if you have a env file, everything will be the the it has a root access then you should change them to the for example the user so the things that i do it right now is just i will open the code also you can no no it also i think this one is the easier way so here you should come to the config.sch then I will change all of the dockers because you can see that here you don't, it, it is not started with the sudo. So I will use a docker and here sudo docker. Maybe we can use, because now you can see here is the five and also it contains everything, um, also docker compose. So maybe I can add one space here. So I will find all of the strings. It has a contain plus one a string and also here, then I will replace them. So now it contains to the sudo docker run dash 
iterative and such a things and so on. Okay. So now everything is fine. Control S. We don't need it anymore. Again, LL. So we will remove all of them. Now it's time to write sudo. Uh, sorry, not without sudo. <laughs> so the first step is the config file. So let me again let's check here. So here is the run list map. It has a requirement Docker and Docker Compose, and also plus you need a git to clone such a things. Uh, or or also if also you don't need to have the gits, you can just download the the zip file of it. Okay, and then you can open it. So the git is a plus, but definitely you have the git. And then you should run this one. And after that, if you want to run it on 3.7, also you should add it on this one. But we will open it as a 3.6. Yeah. Okay. Then I will run this one. So now you can see that because all of my Docker things, it is with the sudo. Now it needs a. Uh, So it takes a little bit time for you because I have already downloaded everything. And yeah, so here you can see that the QGIS version should be 3.28. And therefore, the previous version of QGIS, uh, if I maybe you can put something there, but definitely you will have you will see some warnings and such things. The next step is sudo docker compose up. You can you have already seen that now the containers are creating it so i have i think i i closed the so let me after this i will maybe also explain this part to you first now it is done you can see that everything is yes module and installation is finished so then i will back to my chrome and it is localhost 1818 perfect now it's done you see that you have now you successfully installed lease map so one of the most powerful platforms or frameworks of the web for the geospatial without any coding you have everything there then maybe we can just connect it also again i will sorry i will back to this part and also i think somewhere they has already written it yes here the default login is a admin and the password also is the admin so we will, i have already added here so yeah perfect so we got our administration part you have got okay we will change it later but it is not our way so this is the version of the uh, lease map 3.6 and after that here is our maps i will open the repository next tutorial i will tell you how you can add another file so it is anonymous it means that if for example if it is checked it means that everyone from outside if they access to this url they can see your project okay we will just save it which one qjs info or uh, maybe we can this one friends then we will save it it looks really fine then we will go to the view map perfect congratulations now you have everything there so here you can see that there there are some warnings comes up so if you are as an admin so you can also check the admin panel so here you can see check your lease map plugin maybe one of the reasons maybe the qgis maybe uh, QGIS desktop you see that it is 3.22 maybe this is the this is the problem and this is the the warning panel uh, so because the minimum QGIS version it should be 3.20 I think right now it's enough uh, one more thing maybe I wanted to show you and explain it to you maybe I can open another terminal cd youtube Lease map part one and also this one ll and i want to open it here so if you go to the docker compose file you see that here is the lease map here is the map and here is the web 
and also here is the so and also he is the post js so and all of them are using the alpine value and also if you want to check that all the containers are there so you should write sudo container sudo sorry sudo docker container ls so great so you can see that now all of our containers are running properly yeah perfect i think it is enough for today and uh, yeah if you have any questions don't forget to comment in the comment section below we will answer them as soon as possible see you all in the next video bye